Hello everyone, we are going to be talking about Avorion. It's one of the games similar to the X series from Egosoft. One of the cool things I like about this game, it's, it gives you everything that you could see in the X series plus more. So today we're just going to discuss on how to configure your server environment. One of the things how Avorion runs, it creates its own little centralized uh, service, which is like a little mini server that hosts your galaxy. Once that galaxy is created, it's very hard to customize it without doing some scripting behind the scenes. So let's give you some examples on what we could do. So let's first set up a brand new galaxy, single player. Currently right now I have, I have a galaxy I created. I call it the default galaxy, but if you create your own by clicking create new, you have an option to select creative mode. There's been a lot of questions on what this does. This creative mode gives you limited resources, not money, but just the raw materials to build your ship and to expand your fleet. The money is still a factor that you still have to produce and make the money in the game. But one of the things I've noticed is that once you set it to creative mode, you can't change it back. Say that you feel like you are advanced in your game and you want to have some tactics or some, some, um, some increased difficulty because once you set up the creative mode, um, you can't go down back and disable it, and this defeats the purpose of you know growing your your fleet, your civilization, and expanding in the game. It becomes a little bit repetitive, and there's really no goals to really um, to stay within. So let's talk about the uh, configuration side of your server. I'm going to go ahead and show you mine. So if I click on open my galaxy here, give it a second. Should be pretty quick. Now I haven't really done much in my galaxy. Um, mine was more just exploring and understanding the fundamentals of how to build a ship. So currently I have two ships. Um, so as you can see over here, the raw materials are shown on the top left of the screen. You've got titanium, you got iron, titanium, nanorite, trium, axium, organite, and avalon. Um, I'm sorry, avorion. Now these are your common raw material resources. The problem is once you go into creative mode, these will be dashed out and there's no going back unless you do some scripting behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and get out of the game. And I'm going to go ahead and bring over bring over the uh, the folder structure where the game sits. Now, my path might be different than yours, of course. It's going to use your profile, your app data, and it's going to store it under the Galaxy folder. So if you go into the Galaxy folder, you could actually take a look and see that this entire list of subdirectories and files are only tied to that one Galaxy that you create. So for you to fiddle around with this, you got to be really careful not to mess up your galaxy because if you spend 60 hours plus in this game, there's really, you know, once you make an error or corrupt a file, there's no going back. So you want to make sure you, you back up your galaxy folder, which is the default galaxy. On my case, you might be named something different. Uh, there's a file here called server. It's a configuration file. Let's open it and take a look at it. It's, yeah, it's pretty pretty lengthy as you can see so as you can see over here where you see infinite resources um, status is false because I'm actually trying to build up my resources um, without having any cheats enabled of course if you want limited resources this will be um, yes and that would be considered creative mode so if you ever have a need to take off creative mode you just have to change it from infinite resource to false. Now the good thing is that you shouldn't even check creative mode because that does other factors in the game that I'm not sure what kind of side effects it does if you do that. But it's best to keep the creative mode off 
And if you want infinite resources, you would just have to enable this and say yes. Um, there's other things you could do, like tutorial information. Uh, sometimes you want to get into the galaxy, you don't want to go through the tutorial process. That takes uh, a little bit of time, but it could be you know, annoying at first. Um, then, of course, dev mode is something that um, that's good to enable. And what this does is allows you to bring up the chat console. This will allow you to do and enter parameter commands from the chat console. You probably have experience doing that from other games. I'm assuming you're a little bit familiar with this type of setup here. And you have some other flags here, such as volume control, um, ship parameters of, of collision damage. Um, you also have different types of um, you know settings for the networking. Say you have a co-op game session happening. So it's really customized um, just to that one galaxy. Anyway, thank you very much. Um, I greatly appreciate you um, reviewing this video. Um, and please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye now.